I'm listening to um, Chris. This is on his channel. And it sounds like he had one of those dreams. And I'm not going to play him anymore. Not because, not to dishonor him, but I listened to what he said on his dream. And in my dream at the same time, of course, at different times of the day, if he's in Sweden and I'm I'm in America, in Texas, we would be asleep at different times. Well, that, that dream that I had that day, it's pretty. It was pretty amazing. It was pretty amazing. I had another dream very similar to it the next night, and then the third night dreams they broke down. The projector came off, you know. But there are people there in the dreams. All the people that. Everyone you would expect to be doing something like this with dreams. They're all there. Some of us are late. Some of us have been there our whole lives and we're superstars because we've been doing training every night fucking since we were like fucking kids because we're the crystal kids and we're cool. You know what I'm saying? You know? Maybe you don't. If you don't, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. So they're, they're doing the weather in there, <laughs> but he, we just changed onto it from the very strange uh, messaging that comes through. I believe that they're, they're messaging. I think that the news, no matter what, I looked the guy right in his eyes as he sat there and he smiled and it looked sinister. The last story they were on, it was a lady that had been battling addiction, Comel County, finds a ends up dead but they said no meth no meth was found in her system they said she we were worried about her because she liked to do meth and then they showed her when she was young oh yeah yeah she was sexy too she was still sexy when she died i, I don't know what the fuck all i know is that this is coming out of the, t the tv and they're fucking with us emotionally they're using it for the weather i don't know how they do it i don't know what their antenna system looks like I don't fucking have that part. All I'm telling you is that I feel you. Those of you who, who speak and have something to say, I will try to listen. Chris, I don't think Chris is fucking schizophrenic. I don't think that he could suggest that I would be schizophrenic and not be at least enough based in reality to be threatening. Neutrally, tandemly bound to aggressively non-threatening either way you put it if you say that it's a misunderstanding of this that type or that it will still equally balance back out with this that type or this why because gorgiles and gargiles are different species they're related yes they're very closely related they're the most close related things let's test What's this? Excellent.
died on her birthday? Oh on your birthday, y'all were married on that day? I don't mean like weird bad. What, what day is that? World that has been Yo, over your so what's going on? Because he doesn't normally hide out, but when I what open the door, I like to weird. check on him. And I looked. Oh, he's locked in on this thing. He's like, what is that? What the fuck? And he's been watching this area back here. I'll show you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'll try to show you. Whoa, 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 this area. But he's good, look. He's like a fucking battle cat, yeah, dude. I'm telling you. Fucking, fuck all that. It's stay. In case you can't transport You've been in the dude. What you been doing, Wildcat? Huh? What you been doing? Well, that's probably not a good idea anyway. I did the incense and I went into the underworld. I poked him in his ass over here. Oh, no. Not offensive. That shouldn't just, be illegal. <sighs> like a Texas shouldn't man handshake. Gentle and firm, right? And of course, we had the death of uh, the spider here. The spider was like holding on his hand. It was holding his hand like that. Look at that move. Go ahead, take a taste of it, sir. Tell me what it is. How's my dad's ass taste to you? I did have to get rid of somebody's ashes at our river. It was my friend's grandma. She had left some, she left all the shit. And then finally, after a certain amount of time, having them ashes like just you know, on the property somewhere, I was like, I'm dumping these. I'm dumping these. I'm going to do a thing and get, put them out there. I forgot. I completely forgot about that. Well, just now remembering. My man passed away and we had him cremated. And then my mom passed away. So we put both their ashes together. I took them up there to spread them. I want to break in to say this part because I could work my whole life on the front part of the video. It's all, I've just barely listened to it. There's enough stuff overlaid on top of each other of significant value, like for real. I could I could lose myself in the in that forever, but there was the one point. Now the wife has sent the the man messages, and he's talking about his wife dying after them being run over. The doctor nicked an artery. It's one of the fears you have is surgery. She was bleeding on the inside, and he gave all the moves that he went through to find out to when he opened up the eye, and he knew that she was dead in that hospital now when you die in a hospital it's bad it's bad and a preacher was watching him go through all the shit he explained the story the full story later on it's very significant he opened the window and stuck his hand through there and was able to pull the plug on that shit that i never heard that before i didn't know all this even if i would have heard it i wouldn't have been able to put it together correctly wouldn't have been able to do it. But now riding in the car today, I got enough. Uh, before I got in there going with this guy, I had already done some type of preparatory work just because it's something very strange. I don't know how to articulate it. My dad says he reminds my dad of my mom. And I agree. I agree. I mean, we're not the only ones that know that. Now, that's like soul family type shit. I don't need to explain it, but I can recognize my mother's personality to some degree in this 70 fucking eight year old dude named Bear, which is weird already. There's an attitude. Sometimes it pisses me off and I don't want to fuck with it. And in spite of that tendency of myself to bitch out, the Lord has done some work with me. So I practically murdered us all before we left by method of uh, thought form projection to overlay. Uh, I've done it for myself, and it's not just for me. I'm not worried about the, the issues of this life. That's They're not a concern the same way anymore. Let me just say that. They're not. Would I be more concerned if I left an area of there being some distortive possibilities? That's more the devil, people. That's more of where Satan has anything, if there's anything. And I personally believe that you are your own Satan, just in how you put pressure on your own self. And if that works for you, great. But I don't believe in no devil-like 
in the external world that I don't believe in him. I don't believe in that devil no more. Do I think there's fallen angels and spiritual beings that are out of uh, fellowship with their creator? I would say that would be what most people call angels. Do I think they're in some sort of weird hierarchy where I prefer Metatron? Even though I know all the weird shit about the cube being a prison and stuff. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm very more strangely guarded over my preferences, but I've been able to, if I can eliminate the preferences I have in the mundane world, most of my battle gets won. If I can yield my preferences to myself, now, that's a battle that also, you gotta be, you gotta be physically, spiritually fit, because it's, it's fucking Final Countdown War going on in this, in this place called Earth. Right. Squirrel, you up there with that stop and the fucking cop turned around and said, uh, you guys in a hurry or what? And I said, no, sir. I said, I just cut off that exit in Dallas back there and I said, I don't even know where the hell we're at. I don't see nothing in Texas anymore. And he just looked at me and said, are you serious? And I said, well, yeah. He said, you're in Colorado, son. God damn, I knew this exit ramp was long, but I didn't know it was that damn long. And he said, where are you going? I told him where we're going up to Missoula. So what for us I'm going up there to get my mom and dad buried? Just headed that way. He said, well, I clocked you at 90. He said, I clocked your buddy doing it almost that, trying to keep up with you. He says, I'm going to do you a favor. He said, give me your license. He didn't mind. He it is. Missoula, Montana, that's where my uh, paperwork goes. I've been having to write that down for the past day. No, he turned around. He said, he looked at Bucky. He said, you didn't have any safety glasses on, did you? Okay. <laughs> Got him right here, sir. He said, you didn't have any on, did you? He said, well, I guess not. Right to ticket and hand it to him. $25 fine for not wearing safety glasses on a motorcycle, right? Oh, you're going, thank you, Lord, thank you, you know. Then he looked at me and I said, hey, I didn't have mine on either. He says, I don't want to.